Hello gaming world and welcome back to Out of Reach. I am right behind our little house down there, down the hill, to the cave up here. And I'm going to get some tin so that I can make some, uh, let's see, we need, I'm not going to need the bow in here. So I can actually put that on. Let's just get what is easy right now. That's copper. Cool. All right. We're going to also put in the offhand the torch. And we're going to go in, uh, no, not that. What is first person mode in this? No, 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 no. You pick that up. Oh, man. Pick that up. Ah. There we go. I want to find some tin right quick. Come on, buddy, find you some tin right quick. I can't tell what that is. That's ten. There we go. We got us a little bit of ten. We'll get some mushrooms too while we're down here. Let's look for some more tin. Copper? Sure. Uh, we only got ten. Ten, though. I want copper. I know it's copper just by the way it looks, but. There we go. Get that tin. Come on. Get in a better spot. There we go. I leveled up. Yes, we need to, uh, We need to get him uh, 
leveled up in his minor points. Stonemason, no. Digger gives zero percent chance of maintaining tool durability. Um, see resources gained from ores by 50%. Next level. Alright, that's what he leveled up in, right? Yes. So I want to spend a point in that. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, let's get some more tin. Let's get to where we can hit it good. Yes, tin. That's what we want is the tin. Achievement unlocked and explorer. There we go. Yeah, I know we got copper, but we're going to need a lot of copper. Places like that, you can get some rock if you need to. And there's a couple of areas down in here we'll have to put a uh, thing so we'll know which direction we need to go. Of course, it's really kind of hard to get lost down in here, to tell you the truth. Wow. Yeah, we got to eat while we're down here. Let's mix these together because we need the extra spot. Yeah. Now let's see here. Ten. Need to find as much tin as we can. And there's one of these. Oh, where's it at? Now, see, this goes up. This is the one out right here. Well, what I usually do is uh, 
I put down a foundation or something there so I can tell which one goes out. But you can see that it goes up at an angle. So, let's see. Everything's all right. We got, yeah. Let's just walk around right in here and see. Because, you no, know, some of that stuff will respawn back up there, but uh, right now I just want to see if I can find some more tin right around this area. And there's another cave over. I got to go put a mark next to it. Let's get this stuff out the way. I'm pretty sure our uh, pickaxe will be. Let's see. Yeah, well, I don't know. Our pickaxe is holding up pretty good. Come on. Yeah, most of the time you just hold down the mouse button, but every once in a while, depending on your angle, sometimes you have to multi-click it a bit. Come on now, we need some more tin is what we need. Although tin goes further in the, uh, in the making of stuff than uh, copper does. And once we get a, uh, a better pickaxe, we'll also get more material off of these. something. Let's take a look. Oh, our torch is getting bad. Yeah. Well, the torch getting bad is not, I mean, I got a nut and we we'll just wait for it to run out, basically. Because I do have another one on me. So you have to build a foundation or two to get the stuff off the ceiling around in here. But it spawns back pretty good, so I just keep getting what's on the ground rather than wasting my uh, wood and stuff. We'll work our way back up. And see if any tin respawned or anything. Get a little bit of copper. Usually while you're down here in the cave, and like I say, it does go further on down. Just gotta find the right little passage. 
Here's some tin. There we go. No. There we go. More copper. Usually while you're in here, the torch are usually last while you're in here pretty much. Oh goodness. Then spawn back right in my path. That's a lot of copper. can also uh, bring wall torches down in here and light them and bring fat back down in here and put inside the, uh, the torches because that's what that's what runs them is fat oh copper there Ooh, see how dark it gets. Wow. Oh, I thought that was tin there, would it be in that shell kind of shape? Because copper is usually more rounded like that. That's why I always bring uh, some fat with me whenever I'm down here in the caves. That way you can always make your a uh, torch if you need to. Come on now, we need some tin while we down here. Rooms. Get the gathering skill on up. Nothing wrong with that. Come on. again. Nice. Uh, let's head on back down toward the uh, looks kind of different when you come out of it at night. Oh, I jumped out from behind the trees there. Goodness, it's almost hid. <laughs> Look weird like that. Mercy. Oh, we came out in a different spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well. We'll have to call this exit then. 
Just call it KV. And uh, this one is KV. don't matter which you use, entrance or exit. I just wasn't expecting that because it looked like the same way in and out. Okay, we'll go back over the hill then. I thought look, something looked a little weird about the... Uh, let's go ahead and get some uh, fiber then while we're here and get our uh, harvesting skill on up a little bit. And so y'all don't have to watch this, me just harvesting this and heading home. I'll bring you back when I get to the house and that way I can uh, create some stuff and have you there. See you then. Aha, look at here. I killed a, a hippopotamus on the way home. I kept shooting him with my bow, but I didn't have time enough to uh, hit the record button because he was chasing me. So I'll harvest him up right quick. But this is good meat and good fat and good everything there. A lot of bones too. That's a good thing, yes. That is good. All right, when I get the building, I'll uh, create and I'll bring you right back. Okay, just wanted you to see that you use the tin and the copper to craft your bronze bars. And there we go, I'm leveling up doing good. And what I did is I plused and minused over here to uh, to do it like that so I would, you know, make more at a time rather than just one at a time. It's a little uh, confusing, but you have to look into your uh, backpack so you'll know what you're making exactly. Because now I got 120 bronze bars. So if we go back in here and, you know, I click that again, I can just go to 50 again. And it uses the correct amount of everything, you know, times 10 makes 10 at a time. There we go. And you don't want to make it all because you want to keep a little bit of uh, some stuff. So I just make a, a little bit so that I can uh, Create what I need to start with. And see, that's right at the end of the wood, so that worked out perfect. So now, what I'll do is I'll uh, go into the build menu. I'll go here and find my anvil that I want to create. Number two, and since I have... Uh, Oh uh, my gosh! My uh, my thing. I forgot to uh, to put stuff on it. 
Oh my goodness. See, it takes 60 of those bars to create this, so. Well, no, no, don't do that. I, I keep forgetting about using the E button. All right. And uh, the other thing would be, uh, let's see if I can make that uh, number four. I got to get some stone and some wood in my inventory. Let's see here. Uh, let's just grab this and this right here. Wait a minute. I would have thought I had enough. Uh, there we go. We'll, we'll turn this right there. And we'll put something else right there in that corner. Or do we want it right there next to the window? Yeah, that'll work. There we go. We got everything we need right now to create the stuff that we're going to be needing, armor and stuff. So, for right now, we're going to call this and, and uh, I appreciate you being here. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you would. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button. And uh, all likes, shares, favorites, comments. And uh, I thought I heard something. Uh, Just remember that I love you and bless you. Have a great and fantastic day. Thanks.